In this video, we're going to be talking about punctal plugs. What are they? What are they made of? How long do they last for? And what do they do? So punctal plugs work like this. You've got towards the inside of your eyelids, towards your nose, there are two sets of holes you actually have. One set is up top towards the upper eyelids called the superior puncta. The other set is down on the lower lids called the inferior puncta. And what happens, uh, puncta is plural, punctum is one usually. So when we talk about the puncta, or the inferior or superior puncta, is whenever you blink, it's actually like a zipper moving inward towards your nose. So think of it like this. When you blink, zoop, zoop, things happen that actually move all the tears that you produce, oil, water, and mucus, and all the previous glands that we've talked about in previous videos. It all goes towards your nose. The tears flood into those puncta, either inferiorly or superiorly, go towards your nose, empty into a little sac called the lacrimal sac right about here. You can kind of push on your nose and feel a little squishy sac right here on either side, unless you've had a surgery to remove certain tissues. But most people are going to have this. It's just a little squishy sac called the lacrimal sac. The lacrimal sac then drains those tears down into the nose or to the back of the throat. So if you ever use eye drops or have had a numbing drop placed in your eyes, or if you use some type of prescription eye drops or anything like that, you can sometimes taste the way that the drops um, have a flavor behind them. Not a great flavor, but sometimes you can just notice the flavor behind it if it drips down to the back of your throat. Sometimes you can notice things coming out of your nose if you use eye drops, or if your doctor uses some colored staining dye to look at the tear film, the cornea, or anything like that. It's like if you blow your nose, you can see this color actually come out of your nose if they use some like yellow or green or red or whatever colored staining dye that they use. But going back to what the punctus purpose is, is to drain the fluid out of the front of your eyes from the tear film. Now, what do punctal plugs do? Well, punctal plugs are designed to work like putting a plug in your bathtub drain, basically. The punctal plugs are designed to stop those tears from going too excessively or too much into those holes and to drain the fluid out too quickly on your eyes. And there's two different types of punctal plugs that are used by providers. There are dissolvable and there are semi-dissolvable or permanent. So the first type of punctal plug is called a dissolvable punctal plug. And by dissolvable meaning that it only lasts for maybe a few days to a few months, but it's usually designed from collagen. And usually what happens is the healthcare professional, optometrist, ophthalmologist will determine the medical necessity of this, whether your eyes are too dry or they just need you to have more watery tear film in your eyes and they will use an instrument called a dilator. It's kind of like a giant needle looking thing. We usually like to have like a cotton tip applicator um, soaked in lidocaine or anything like that and just hold it on the puncta for about 30 to 60 seconds to numb that whole area up. Then the healthcare professional is gonna use that dilator to open up those little holes to make them a little bit larger so that the punctal plugs can actually fit into those drainage holes more effectively. Now, once the dilator has been used and the hole is open a little bit more, then there'll be some little preloaded tweezers or sometimes you can actually just have some manual tweezers and actually insert that collagen punctal plug into the inferior one. Typically this is done in the inferior ones. The superior ones are kind of hard to get to, but it can be done. It's just not done as commonly. Mostly a lot of us will do the inferior uh, punctas for the most part. But once the inferior oops, punctal plugs have been positioned appropriately, it will prevent the tears from evaporating and moving too quickly out of the front of the eyes and can actually retain more watery tear film for several days, weeks, months, but will dissolve at some point after that. And you'll notice the dry eye symptoms coming back in a little bit more. That's primarily what punctal plugs are used for as a dry eye treatment. And it's just a glorified bathtub plug to the bathtub drain to prevent more water from draining too quickly out of the front of your eyes. Those are the dissolvable type. What about the semi-dissolvable type or the, we, we usually refer to them as permanent ones. They're usually made from silicone. And what happens is the same process using the dilator, using the numbing um, lidocaine, anesthetic, anything like that to open up those puncta. And it's actually a little bit bigger of one. So it kind of looks more like a bathtub plug in a way. The collagen ones kind of look like a cylindrical piece of collagen, like a small little cylinder of collagen. The more permanent ones can look like an actual bathtub drain plug to where it actually goes down inside and can last for quite a long time, actually, before they need to be replaced or they get infected or anything like that. Because the longer that they're in there, and if, let's say, you have a sty or an eye infection, they can actually go in and remove the healthcare professionals, and we can, is actually go in and remove those permanent punctal plugs and actually put new ones in place 
if they need to be changed out because these pump, permanent punctal plugs can last for an incredibly long time without really de decomposing, breaking down, or anything like that. I will say from a lot of patient responses that they have a higher incidence of discomfort. So some patients can feel them a little bit more. Sometimes it bothers the patient's eyes when they blink and it can actually rub against the front surface of the lids and everything like that. So some patients don't like them, some patients love them, some patients don't mind them. It just kind of depends on your preference level or if you want the dissolvable type every few months or so or do you want more of a permanent type that's gonna last long term but maybe have to deal with a little bit of discomfort with that. But that's punctal plugs and the two types that are usually affiliated with why we use them for dry eye treatment, why we use them for inflammatory treatment. And a lot of times too, when it comes to certain autoimmune conditions like lupus or Sjogren's or Renaud's or anything like that, that can dry the eyes out too easily because the lacrimal gland located up here is responsible for making that watery tear film. And if that watery tear film when the autoimmune condition or any other condition is flared out too much, the eyes will not produce as much watery tear film. And that's one reason why punctal plugs can be indicated for patients in this way, because they're not making enough water and you need to stop up the bathtub drain in order to allow them to get more water to produce in the front of the eyes. It's like a reservoir that builds up a little bit more. Punctal plugs can be extremely effective uh, when needed and when warranted. Just make sure you ask your healthcare professional, your optometrist, your ophthalmologist, if you're a candidate for it, or if they don't do it, who does actually put the punctal plugs in, they'll be able to guide you on the right path to get you the right treatment, get you the right professional, and get you the right plan to get your eyes feeling better as well as you seeing better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell for notifications. I'm Dr. Bryce Heffington. We'll see you next time.